Welcome back, Math Grizz. Today, we will label fractions on a number line. Let's take a look at this number line. This number line has the whole numbers zero and one. We notice that there's no tick marks between the zero and the one. There is just one space between them. If we're labeling this number line with fractions, we know that the denominator will have to be one because there's one space between the zero and the one. Now we can think of the zero as having zero holes. So we can say zero over one represents zero holes. So this tick mark can mean zero or zero over one zero holes. When we jump from the zero to the one, now we have one hole, which can be written as one over one or one hole. Here we have a picture of one hole. So here we have zero holes and now we have one hole when we jump from zero to one. This number line also has the whole numbers zero and one, but we notice there's a tick mark in between the zero and the one. Let's count how many spaces there is between the zero and the one. One, two, which means if we're labeling this number line with fractions, we know the denominator for each tick mark will have to be a two. Now at the zero, we can say we have zero halves. When we jump over to the next tick mark, we can say we have one half. When we jump to the next tick mark, we can say we have two halves. We know two halves is the same thing as one whole, which is right here. Let's take a look at a picture. Here we have zero halves, here we have one half, and here we have two halves, which makes one whole. We know the denominator is two because there's two spaces between the whole number zero and one. One, two. This number line also has the whole numbers zero and one. We notice there's more tick marks between the zero and the one. Now we need to count how many spaces there are between the zero and the one, because the zero and the one are the whole numbers. Let's count one, two, three. There are three spaces between the zero and the one. That means we're working with a denominator of three. This tick mark represents zero. Another way to say zero on this number line is zero thirds. When we jump over, we can say that this tick mark represents one third. When we jump to the next tick mark, we can say it represents two thirds. And when we jump one more tick mark, we can say one. We can also say three thirds is the same thing as one whole. Another way to think about it is zero thirds, one third, two thirds, and three thirds. Three thirds makes one whole. Let's take a look at this number line. This number line still has the whole number zero and one but we notice there's more tick marks. Now, in order to figure out what fractions go on this number line, we need to count how many sections there are between the zero and the one, which are the whole numbers. Let's count. One, two, three, four. There's four equal sections between the whole number zero and one on this number line. That means we will be working with the denominator four. This tick mark represents zero. Another way to say zero on this number line would be zero fourths. If we travel in one tick mark between zero and one whole, we can say we've traveled one fourth or one out of the four equal sections to one whole. If we travel one, two of the equal sections between zero and one, we can say we've traveled two out of four or two fourths. If we hop over one more to this tick mark, we can say we've traveled three fourths of the way to one whole. And now if we jump over one more to this tick mark, we know that represents one, the whole number one. We can also say four fourths or four out of the four equal sections between the whole number zero and one. We can also think of it like this. We have zero fourths, one fourth, two fourths, one, two, three fourths, and one, two, three, four fourths, which means one whole. It's the same concept, it's just on a number line. Let's try this number line. We're still working between the whole numbers zero and one. Now, in order to figure out the fractions that go on these tick marks, we need to count how many equal sections there are between the whole numbers zero and one. Let's count. One, two, three, four, five, six. There are six equal sections between the zero and the one, which are the whole numbers on this number line. That means we will be working with the denominator six. This tick mark represents the number zero. 
Another way to say zero on this number line is to say we have zero six, or we've traveled zero out of the six sections to one hole. If we travel in one tick mark in between zero and one on this number line, we can say we've traveled one out of the six equal sections or one sixth. If we keep going, we can say two sixths and three sixths and four sixths five six and when we get to one hole we can say six six is the same thing as one hole it's the same thing as when we're drawing models we can say zero six one six two six three six four six five six and six six makes one hole let's try one more this number line still has the whole numbers zero and one. Now we need to figure out how many equal sections there are between the zero and the one. Let's count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There are eight equal sections between the zero and the one. That means we'll be working with the denominator eight. The zero represents zero or zero eighths. If we travel in one tick mark between zero and one, we can say one eighth. We can continue by saying two eighths, three eighths, four eighths, five eighths, six eighths, and we've traveled seven eighths or seven out of the eight equal parts to one hole. When we get to one hole, we can say we've traveled eight out of eight or eight eighths of the way to one hole, which means we've made it to one hole. Another way to think of it is zero eighths, one eighth, two eighths, three eighths, four eighths, five eighths, six eighths, seven eighths, and eight eighths makes one hole or one. Go ahead and pause this video and see what you notice on these four number lines. <laughs>